Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today I wanted to add on to this dry fire series here by talking about a dry fire workout routine for my pistol and what I'm doing. Uh, this year, 2019, I'm going to be doing a lot more shooting on the range to, to continue to grow as a shooter, and uh, I realized very quickly, of course, that if I want to make my range time worth it, that means I need to do a lot more dry fire because dry fire, of course, is where we can do most of our improvement with a handgun. So uh, I wanted to come up with a routine that I can do consistently and disciplined uh, in order to increase my skills with a pistol. So I copied it pretty much verbatim uh, from Reed Hendrix's Pistol Craft book, which again, excellent book. I have a video on that. I'll try to remember to link it below, and uh, you should definitely read that book. But uh, I think it's just important to have a consistent routine. So this routine that I do takes about 45 to 60 minutes. Uh, it is a time commitment. You can, of course, cut down and, and change things out as you see fit. But this is what I've been doing recently in order to uh, increase my skills. I think the first thing I do is about 30 draws. Uh, I just draw the gun and shoot the gun, right? Dry fire, okay? If you go back and watch the other parts of dry fire to make sure your gun's cleared out, okay? But... Uh, just draw the gun and, and pull the trigger. And I'll usually start at about a second and a half. And then I'll slowly kind of work my way down. Uh, and then my last five, I always make sure to really try to be pushing it past where I can get. And for me right now, that's about a second, uh, 1.1 seconds or one second. It's kind of where I'm, I'm missing. It's where I'm not quite fast enough yet. Uh, after that, I will work on 25 reloads, and uh, for me, that's just having an empty mag in the gun, slide locked back. I will eject that magazine, grab a new magazine, shove it in the gun, hit the slide release, and present the gun and fire the pistol. My par time on the reloads is around two seconds right now, and I'm trying to continue to push that lower. I will also insert that new magazine over the hand rack and, and then present the pistol. I just try to work both uh, in order to kind of stay proficient at both. My default, of course, is using the thumb. But I want to just have the other way in case, just I would need it or if I start running 1911s or something like that. From there, I'll work on a failure to fire. Uh, so for me, the way I'm dry firing these is I believe in diagnostic gun handling. I know that's a hot take. Some people think I'm nuts for saying that, but, but I really do. So I will present the pistol. I will pull the trigger. I will do a 10 degree tilt. I will look at the chamber, uh, the ejection port there to see, see what's going on there. And then I'll look at the back of the gun on the slide to see if that's out of battery at all. If neither one of those things gives away any clues, I will tap rack bang and of course um, continue to fire. So that's what I'll do here. You'll see me in the dry fire. I will fire. I will tilt and then I will tap rack bang.
I will do 10 of these failure to fires. Par time on the failure to fire is about one and a half seconds. After that, I work in a stovepipe. So for me, I'll just take a snap cap, uh, shove it in the uh, gun there. That's pretty obvious what's going on, right? You get a dead trigger, you do that 10 degree tilt, boom. Uh, it's a very clear stovepipe. So from there, I will just rack the gun and continue. There's no need to tap the magazine on a stovepipe, in my opinion. So I'll just rack the gun and keep moving. I'll do 10 also of the stovepipes. Par time for the stovepipe is about one and a half seconds. After that, I do everyone's favorite drill, which is double feeds, right? So I will set up the double feed, and then I'm going to strip the magazine out, triple rack, new magazine in the gun, rack and go. I do about 10 of the double feeds and my par time is five seconds. From there, I will do single hand draws only. So single hand means other hands out of the way. Uh, weapon hand gets the shirt up, accesses the gun, and comes out. I do 20 of these and my part time is two seconds. After that, I will do support hand only. Uh, so I mix this one up a little bit. I will pick this, the pistol up off the bed and support hand and fire, and I'll pick the gun up off the ground and support hand and fire. Really, again, I'm just trying to practice picking that gun up, transferring that gun over, getting it into my support hand, and firing. Part time is around two seconds. If I have to go pick the gun up, I'll be a little slower. Lastly, I will do five weapon hand only reloads.
Uh, typically for a weapon hand only reload, I will drop the mag, I will go to my holster, uh, put the gun in the holster that is, get the new mag, put it in the gun, come out and go. and then five support hand only reloads. Uh, for support hand only, I found it a lot easier to just put that sucker between my knees rather than fighting it to get in the holster and fighting it to get it back out. Uh, and then get the new mag in and go. So that's it. Like I said, it takes me about 45 to 60 minutes uh, in order to do all of that and set all those up in between consecutively. Uh, and again, you can do as much or as little of that as you want, but I have found it to be very helpful for me in increasing my proficiency and my weapons manipulation uh, and, and really getting that side picture, that side line. A couple of real good things to note here is when you do do dry fire, don't just come out, bang, and then pull the gun right back right away. Get out, bang, follow through, be, call your shot, be like, okay, I know where that bullet would have went if it was a real gun, right? If it was a, if it was a live round. And then come back in, set it back up, and go again. So guys, uh, get out there, do your dry fire, be dedicated. With your dedication and discipline, you will improve. Come see me for a class, and then you can show those skills off. Do brave deeds, and endure.